my exciting video. Um, recently I realized that my lipsticks have been in really a complete disarray. Um, I stored them in little baskets. I can show you them right now. These are the baskets I used to store my lipsticks in. I just got a piece of foam board and I created little sections where I can section off um, rows to keep the lipsticks in place so everything isn't all over the place. And I was able to get three rows per basket and I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight baskets in total in my drawer, in my main vanity drawer. Well recently, I have been buying like a crazy amount of lipsticks with the MAC collections that have been coming out and like new spring lines and I found myself buying more and more and I am running out of space. And it's gotten to the point where my lipsticks are not even right side up anymore. They're laying down and everything is being piled on top of each other. And I find that I don't know where anything is and when I go to reach for a lipstick, I can't find it and I end up settling for something completely different. So anyway, with this being the issue, an issue for me at least, I have tried to figure out a solution. So I thought, it, how great would it be if I could turn my entire vanity drawer into a giant lipstick holder? Now, I am well aware that there is a lipstick tower. One of you amazing subbies let me know that there's such a thing as a lipstick tower. Actually, my girl Anne, and if you're watching, thank you so much. There's an acrylic li lipstick tower that spins around. That's $100 to buy. I don't know how many lipsticks it holds, but I was told that it was $100, and y'all know I am not about that life. So I began brainstorming, and I got an idea. I went to my local do Dollar Tree, and I spent a total of seven bucks, okay? Seven dollars. I'm gonna show you the finished pro product, but I'm also gonna show you the steps on how to create one of these yourself if you're interested. I did record some of the process, but then my camera died. So the end part, which is very, very easy for me to explain, I'm going to just talk you guys through it, but all the measuring and cutting and all that other crazy stuff was successfully recorded, so I'm going to show you that right now. Before I get into the video though, I want to, and I'm sorry somebody's snow blowing, I don't know what I'm going to stop, I want to announce to you guys a very exciting collaboration that I'm doing with elux.com. It is a line of t-shirts that I'm creating. One of them is what I'm wearing, and I'll show you what it looks like now. I'm coming out with a really, really great line dedicated to you guys and very um, connected with makeup and the love of makeup. I hope you guys will check it out when it launches. I want to say it's going to be ready for the spring. I have some um, crop tops and... Um, loose fitting tops that you can wear with very tight pencil skirts. The line is going to be very nice, very affordable. Um, when it launches, I'll let you guys know. But I did want to show you my top because I did receive samples. I don't want to show you the samples. Um, I want to show you guys. I can't hold it. Let me show you the samples. I'll be right back. All right, so I already showed you my More Issues Than Vogue crop top. And this is a crop top um, with sleeves, short sleeve crop top. Then I came out with a muscle tee. I designed the muscle tee. It's black with gold writing that just says Be Fierce. Very cute, right? The nice pair of jeans or really tiny shorts. This is a longer fitting crop top. Um, I'm sorry, a longer fitting muscle tee because I envisioned it with very short shorts. And I know for my personal style, when I wear short shorts, I don't like to wear very tight or short um, tops because it just makes my legs look way longer than they are and it just causes too much attention. So I like to wear longer tops and I thought this muscle tee would be a really nice compliment for that. My next top that I received is a loose fitting crop top and it says all I need is mascara and lipstick and it's just a round neck um, tee with short sleeves and the material is so soft, so nice, so luxurious. I really, really do love this one as well. Then I came out with a very simple crop top that is short sleeve. It's just a sleeveless crop top. 
that says unique in pink letters because y'all know I love pink. And that is all the samples that I received, but I did design a lot more shirts that I'm waiting for um, that I should receive shortly. And when I do get those, I'll show you guys the samples, even though I said I wasn't gonna do it. Um, I'm just so excited, and I hope you guys are excited for me too, and support, and visit the site when it launches, make a purchase, take pictures, tag me and Elux in it, and yeah. So now let's get into the video. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a DIY project for you. Here are all the items that you'll need to do this project. As you can see by the down bar below, I am building a new lipstick storage in my actual um, vanity drawer. So this is my drawer here. These are all the products or the supplies that I'll need. You'll need some measuring tape. You'll need some masking tape it doesn't matter it could be the white one this one I think is painters tape but you'll see we'll need this to kind of draw lines on the sides in the front of the drawer to make sure that we're spacing everything correctly you'll need a pencil and I'm my trusty spongy bubby pencil here and you'll need an exacto knife and this is going to be used to um, cut your poster boards which is also a supply that you'll need now these poster boards I got at or foam boards you can see in the center here there's foam I got these at the dollar store and I just picked up five I don't know how many you'll need um, but I have five so let's get started the first thing I'm going to do is just grab a lipstick as a guide now um, this is the uh, L'Oreal collection the Privé collection um, I do own other ones, but this is kind of the biggest sized lipstick that I have other than my flower, but I don't have a lot of flowers, so I'm going to use this as a guide and I'm just going to make sure I space it out just a smidgen more to ensure that flower fits in there as well. So I'm just going to put this right into the drawer here. Make sure you guys can see. I'm going to put this into the drawer. As you can see, it's right here. And I'm going to take my tape. And I'm just going to put some tape from the top to the back of the drawer all the way down. Okay. Pick my lipstick back up, put it in the corner, and I'm just going to pencil out the width and length of the lipstick so I know how I need to cut my poster board. So this actually needs to be, this is the guide that I'm gonna use for my measuring tape. So I'm just going to use this as a guide here. So each um, line across is gonna need to be, what is this, four inches. So we're gonna just measure that out. I just created small lines here all the way down to kind of give me a guide of how I want to put my columns and now I'm just gonna go in and do my rows. So I'm gonna just take this measurement here and it's gonna be about one I'm sorry that was four centimeters across and I'm gonna do one inch up and down. Now for the board. Now that I know how um, long the board has to be, I'm just going to cut in the measurements that I found. So four centimeters um, thick to be able to go up and down, and then one inch for the rows. So we're just going to go ahead and measure that out with our pencil, we're going to take a pencil. So just to make it easier for myself and so that I don't have to use the measuring tape so much, I'm just going to go ahead and use the lines that I already created on the tape and measure it up with the poster board here and then 
um, follow the lines to create the lines for the rows that I have to write on the poster board. Now taking another poster board, I'm just going to use it as a ruler and I'm going to take the lines that I created on, this, on the side of this poster board here like this one and this one. I'm just going to lay this poster board up against it to create a straight line for me to cut out with my exacto knife. And this is what your poster board should look like when you're all done. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to slice out the rows that I created with, with the lines being my guide. Now we're gonna have to cut lengthwise because it's just not gonna fit. It's just way longer than the actual drawer. So we're just gonna measure that out, figure out how much we need to cut off. All right, now, now that the rows or columns are done, I'm going to go ahead and cut some rows. And it looks like we need one, based on the lines that we drew here, it looks like we need one, two, three, four, five, six, all 13 rows going across. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use the leftover columns that we didn't use, and I'm gonna use this as a guide. 13, right? That's yeah. four already. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we need nine more. And like I said, this is gonna be too long again, so what I'm gonna have to do is cut it. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna mark off, I'm gonna stick it all the way into the drawer. Then I'm gonna go to this side here, and I'm gonna mark where I want it to, where I wanna cut it. So now that all our rows are cut out, we're going to create slits in each of the columns here so that we can just slide the rows right in. And in order to do this, you have to set it up the way that you want it. And that's the reason why we draw these lines here. I decided to use my glue gun. This part is completely optional. I just wanna make sure that when I create the slits, these things aren't falling over. So I'm just going to put a small dab of glue on either side and just press it down just to ensure that it's gonna stay there. It's gonna stay there anyway once I create the slits and put my rows going back and forth. But I just wanna make it easier for me as I'm creating the slits for my rows. All right, y'all, so I know I created little lines across the bottom but I actually think I overestimated the amount of space that we need. And I think the spacing is too, 
too big. I mean, after all, these are lipsticks and they are fairly thin. So I'm just gonna cheat a little and eyeball it and just make the spacing a little narrower. So the last step is basically taking the rows, the columns and the rows that you created and bringing them together. In order to do that, you have to create little slits in your columns. I found in hindsight now that if I can go back and redo this, I would create my columns in that foam board that I showed you in the video, and the rows I would create in poster board. There's a thick poster board that is sold at Dollar Tree. Same price, it's gonna be fine. I would recommend using that, and it's the same size, so you don't have to worry about it not being long enough. Baby's going crazy right now. He must hear me talking. The reason why I say that is because when I started creating slits in my foam board for the rows of foam board that I was putting in, I realized that the slits had to be very thick because the foam boards were very thick. So if I cut a small slit with my X-Acto knife, the foam board wouldn't enter in. So I had to, I had to cut little V shapes into my columns to be able to insert the rows of my lipstick holders. I hope you guys are following me. This made a huge mess and made everything look very janky and just very shredded up and I wasn't happy with it. So on the fly, I decided to cover everything up with duct tape. Yes, y'all, duct tape. Now, if you saw my blog post, and I haven't blogged in a really long time, I posted a DIY lipstick holder and I'll link that down below if anybody's interested in seeing that. But I posted a DIY um, nail polish holder. Did I say lipstick? I meant nail polish. And a DIY nail polish holder where I covered up all the shelves in duct, printed duct tape. So I went to my local Dollar Tree and I bought the same duct tape. They have a bunch of different ones. They have cheetah print, pink, blue, green. There's a bunch. Really? Someone is obviously snow blowing outside while I'm trying to make my video. I don't know when they're gonna stop, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm sorry, I hope you guys can drown that out. So I went to my local um, Dollar Tree, bought the duct tape, and wrapped my entire DIY project in duct tape. Now I'm gonna show you the finished product now, so here we go. So y'all know my vanity was a DIY project as well. And I bought this mom, it's not a mom vanity, it's something else vanity from Ikea. And I spent $50 on the vanity and I kind of um, made it sparkle a little bit by putting mirror detail all over it um, without spending the mirror detail dollars. Now here is the giant lipstick holder that I created. Now this is what I mean by, I went to the dollar store and purchased some duct tape. This is all duct tape, this, the print that you see. And what I did was I took my X-Acto knife, once everything was duct taped top to bottom, it's just rows from the very back of my drawer all the way down to the end here. Um, and I tried to create a straight line so it looks nice and neat. Then I took my X-Acto knife and cut little X's in each slot, opened it up with my finger, and then stuck the lipsticks in. So I have a giant lipstick holder. I still have lots of room. I plan on getting more acrylic holders for this area here. So I think I'm pretty set right now. And of course, lipstick does have an expiration date, so I'm constantly giving away and um, throwing away. Uh, but these are all my lipstick, guys. I'm so excited to finally see everything in one place, see it all right side up so I can read the see the colors and read the numbers, especially with my MAC lipsticks. Y'all know these bullets only stand like this and then you have to pick it up and check. Well, I don't have to do that anymore because I can store them upside down and then I can read what I'm looking for. These are not color coordinated in any way, so please don't you know, kill me about that, but I plan on that being my next step. Um, so yeah, it's, it was really great. If you choose, to use the um, 
poster board, like I said, for your rose instead of the foam board, you can actually skip this step. I think this step, even though it was a last minute kind of thing, it looks really good and I'm happy, so happy with the way that it turned out. But if you use um, poster board instead, you can skip this step because everything will be very nicely cut and you won't have those really bad shredded areas of the poster board that, um, or the foam board that you needed to like cut through because the rose didn't fit. So this is it guys, this is what it looks like. I hope you guys um, create one of your own and tag me in it if you do, I'd really love to see your version of it. That is the end of this video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button down below, comment and subscribe. If you're interested in learning how to create this look, um, I will be having a one brand makeup tutorial including all Maybelline products, which are all drugstore, everything you can find in the drugstore right now, nothing old, um, up either before or after this video. I hope you guys check that out, and I will talk to you lovely ladies and gentlemen in my next one. Bye.